Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 4 of season 7 of The Vampire Diaries. This time the title of the episode is I Carry Your Heart With Me. So, I'm excited. Uh, I want to apologize to you people on Patreon because I said I was going to post this yesterday during night time, but I came back home way too late and I was way too tired and I honestly thought that if I started watching, I was going to fall asleep during the reaction. So I said, you know what? I'm going to save the reaction for tomorrow that I'm going to be wide awake. I'm going to be in a better mood to react and enjoy the show because we do need to remind... I, I This is something that I need to remind myself uh, this as well. Uh, it's better when you are in the mood to watch whatever it is that you are going to watch. It makes up for a better reaction, you know? You don't want to force anything out. I don't feel like I have been forcing myself to do anything because I truly enjoy everything I do uh, here on my channel. So it, don't worry about that. But, like, for instance, like yesterday, it was very hard for me to say, you know what, I should go to bed if before doing all of this, you know, uh, but it was very hard for me because I felt like I was disappointing people, but I have to remind myself that it's better if I'm in a better mood, I'm, you know, well rest and I'm ready to enjoy the reaction because if I enjoy the reaction, if I enjoy the episode, you guys will enjoy my reaction and that is what is best, you know, you cannot force anything out. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love The Vampire Diary. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. I also want to say something, but don't hold me on to it. But I know that The Vampire Diaries and the originals are going to be out of the Netflix catalog this month of October. So at least here on my Netflix, I only have seven seasons of The Vampire Diaries. This is the last season I have here. So either way, I was going to have to find another way to watch season eight. And The Vampire Diaries, if I'm not wrong, has... How many seasons do they have here posted? Three seasons. So, what I need to do and what I'm going to focus my energy on doing this month is to finish both Season 7 of The Vampire Diaries and Season 3 of The Originals. Because I want to watch it here on Netflix. I don't want to have to look for the episode elsewhere. So, I will have to just buy season eight of the vampire diaries and by season four and five of the originals so yeah um you might be surprised because a lot of reactions will come your way just like at the beginning uh uh of of uh when i used to do more than more than five reactions sometimes a week so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoy thumbs up subscribe comment if you want to watch the full and cover reaction for this episode and for a lot of the previous ones as well. You can go to Patreon. Link will be in the description down below. Patreon really helps me out to continue doing reaction videos to support the channel so I can have more time to do more reaction videos for all of you guys. So yeah, I promise that I will try to finish before this goes out of my Netflix catalog. And yeah, I don't know where else I'm going to watch this. Or at least season 8. I don't know where I'm going to watch it. But anyways, we'll deal with that later. Hope you guys enjoy and... Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 7, Episode 4 of The Vampire Diaries. Alaric, what the fuck are you doing, man? I was trying to fix the doll. Did you fix it? My yes, sweetheart. And it's past your bedtime. Wait! No, hold on! Three years from... But those kids don't look three years old. Did... 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 What is her name? Jo came back from the dead and she had the babies? Because she was pregnant and she was going to have... Uh, baby, but that... This... What? Okay, hold on. I don't know. I don't understand. Anyways. Girls? Uh-oh. Uh Dude, go check them. Go check... Go, 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 check on them. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Damon. Hey, oh, hello. You adorable? But if you don't do exactly as I say, that could change real fast. Oh, no, don't thread him. So. What happened? Oh, God damn it. These flash forwards are killing me. I swear to God. I cannot put the pieces together. 
leveraging a member of my family just to get her body closer to you. Yeah, and whose fault is whose fault is that? Who just can you be? Oh, shut up, your mommy. Damon, you slap. <laughs> but he actually didn't, and Valerie screw everything up. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. I hate this. Child bunny, my child. Our lives are weird. Tell me about it. I mean, you're a vampire. So yes, it is weird. <laughs> my children. Especially bunny, who is my child. Let this happen? Don't even- So now you're on her side? I don't have to be on her side to see what- He doesn't let her rest? Well, Lily has her kidnap and is still leverage on both of you. So getting her back, it's a- was a good idea? I'm- I mean, he wasn't planning on killing him! What's happening here? About Elena. Okay, this is a little bit unfair. We need to get- Just say- just say to her that he escaped, okay? Valerie, Correcting. what the hell did you did? Oh, we have it. She's so beautiful, Mushroom though. Mushroom omelette. It was puppy love. It meant nothing. Be yeah, sure, it meant nothing. That explains why you held on to his journal all these years. It totally explained that. The time. Why put him through that? Oh, come on! It's been a long time. I should go look for Oscar. This I mommy. Won't be necessary. God, it feels good to get out that deserted town and be around Is living that the mommy kink be. that they have? I don't like- Oh my god, the lesbians! Shut up, everyone! No mission, Nora. Not a vacation. You could have vacation. I'm just saying. Then why isn't Oscar answering his phone? Oh my god. I mean, the guy doesn't want to be found. Oh my god. Oh, he's not there. Okay. Why don't I believe you? He's well, behind? This is pointless. <laughs> Throw that away for you. <laughs> yes, you do that, boy. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> Every hour that Oscar isn't returned, a Whitmore student will die. <gasps> Starting now. <laughs> But you can give give her your blood. Give her your blood. Am I going crazy? Dozens have disappeared. What are they doing here? The most useless cop. We're not doing anything illegal, officer. No, there's nothing to avoid. Well, Devin, she was your first love, and then she just left you hanging. You're a hundred and fifty years ago, like even more now. So. Not the least bit curious to get drunk and show skin. <laughs> Sorry, no heretics allowed. Halloween's only for people who dress up as psychos. <laughs> like you want to drink cheap beer out of plastic? Good luck with that. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, you two will fit in just fine. It's seriously, you guys have nothing to feel self-conscious about. <laughs> She's good. Can. She good. She's good at manipulating people, though. Oh my God! Yes. Yes, Mary Louise. Yes, this is what I waited for seven seasons. Oh my god. Will I make a proper modern devil? A lesbian de Shouldn't devil, yes. Too much of a stretch. It's not the Valerie that I knew. Well, I a used long to be a sickly abusive lurchin, cast out by my coven, and then I met Mary Louise. The love of her life, I love, love this. People. <gasps> I mean, maybe Valerie's obsession with- Well? Look, uh, yes, true, me too. She looks oh, amazing. Not bad. Yep. Not bad is not good. <laughs> not nice, it's just... You want a devil. Okay, this... I mean, if lesbian relationships are complicated, imagine this. What the fuck just happened? Mary Lou, wait. Oh, Mary Lou. She calls her Mary Lou. Love this. Maybe you meet a nice guy. Or not so nice guy. Have a fun, drunk Halloween hookup. When I can be Could here. be a girl. Could be a girl. Struggling to... We gotta bring this guy back to life. No. <laughs> Damn. What do you think it is? Oh, I love how flirty they are and they can kiss. I Touch hate that. Him. Yeah, true. Oh, we're here. And she's also an angel, yes. Time for us to be. <laughs> Who wants to tell? Who wants to meet an angel? Oh, my little flower here. Oh, what the fuck is that? I have found a sex on the beach. Ooh. Got you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
old fashioned devil and slutty. Old fashioned devil? What the fuck, bitch? Angel. Oh, yes. I love it. Thank you. Don't flirt mind. with her. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't, no, dude, dude. She's getting mad. What the fuck? Okay, we're making progress. And it's good that we are trying all this out with him rather than with Joe, you know? So if there's any mistakes, we can fix it and bring the real Joe back. Because eventually she will come back, right? So, did you call just to brag? How <laughs> much longer? Oh crap, Chris, put it out! <laughs> I think we're close. <laughs> My dear buddy, she's so cute. <laughs> Look at Mary Lee. Me and a party. It gives it to her, the noise and the lever. You got all that from that. It's oh, clear. Obvious. Yeah, it is. Oh! <laughs> I might be waiting for this, yes. <laughs> Love it. Or not. Feelings are gonna come back. No, Feelings you are scared of that. The abandonment and the whole freaking fairy tale. Where, 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 where Mary Louise? Well, that's what you're scared of. Where's Mary Louise and Nora? Can be both. Sweetheart, don't. Don't live your life like that. You know what? Told you. Where are my little lesbians? Are they gonna have lesbian sex right now? Oh. Woo! Yeah. Is this like cheating for a lesbian vampire? She's been sneaking to heal, so she's a little spicy. <laughs> What is it? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, dude. What the hell? So the bloody 19th century, and I need your protection. Oh shit! I'm really struggling to adapt, Mary Lou. You are. Oh, uh, lesbian, lesbian drama. Yes, well. I pay for this. I haven't paid for anything. Do whatever but. you want. Shamanistic oral traditions. I didn't go scared. What the hell? Bonnie, I don't know. You are officially the most terrifying person I know. <laughs> I love that. God damn it, but you're back! Yay! Oh, easy. Sure you want to do this to Joe? Look, it's now or never, Damon. No offense, Rick, but I was asking Bonnie. <laughs> you sad sex. They're protecting you what because they love you. Damon, go get your girl. I love Bonnie so is. much. He's very protective of her friend. I love Damon. We we stand a good friend. Treat. After seven it's seasons, he got better. <laughs> Still haven't heard say a bad thing about him. He was a saint. <laughs> who beat up Valerie? Who beat up Valerie? And, and 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 made her lose her child. Your grandchild, bitch. Your gr yes, you were almost a grandma. Just saying. The love of my life. This weird mommy king that he has. Sweetheart, we had a fight. You need to talk. Talk to him. He's good with relationships. He's good with relationships. Oh God damn it! Oh. But I'll shoot the one person who can solve this case for you, Detective Dumbass. <laughs> Detective Oscar's Dumbass. Trip went from bad to worse. The fact that you are human. Yeah, true. Please don't commit suicide by heretic tonight. Since when do you care? Give me a break. Yeah. I don't want to add your death to a long list of things that are already my fault. That it wouldn't be your fault though. <laughs> oh shit. Why torture the lesbians? I'm dead. Stop! Why is it treating the lesbians like that? I hate this. I feel offended. That was a lot more satisfying than I thought it would be. I like them. Oh my god! Okay, now it's a scary bitches. No! You dumbasses! You remember everything in moderation! Oh shit. Now I get it. 
<laughs> Your favorite sons are the ones and smash them together like two disgusting melons and oh, she loves that! <laughs> she loves his iconic power her girlfriend loves this. Okay. <laughs> Can't help it. You love me. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> that was not adorable at all, but yes. <laughs> you don't know how much I have waited for this. That was like a little pet. Sorry. I love this! Let's applaud for the lesbians. Yes. You should get back to Mystic Falls. No, no, Spent stay here. My lifetime there. Night is I love this so much. I'm so happy. Finally, fucking finally. Even though they're kind of like crazy, but still. Oh, I thought who wore this too. Yes. You want to talk about mm -hmm. that just, right like, now? I get to be alone for a really long time. And most people have in a lifetime. Yeah, true. I love that. I love that. How do we go from this to her being engaged to Tyler? I don't get it. Join me for a drink. What the fuck is he doing, Matt? Yeah, stop it. Oh, Matt, stop it. Two. Minding her own business. The tourists. Why is he this much of an idiot? And see, another vampire saving your life. Mad. You're welcome. I'm swooning. <laughs> After everything you've been through, what a shame it would be to lose her because you're too terrified to find out who you actually are without her. Really? You dare to I don't see it like that. No skin off my nose. I want one more thing. Because you may be a thousand miles away or a hundred years away, but you're still here with me. Yeah. And my heart is right there in that coffin with you. That is so sweet. Until you come back to me. <laughs> oh. But is she the, the the real Joe? Okay, guys, that was the end of season seven, episode four of the Vampire Diaries. Uh, this was a really good episode, but there are some points that I do wanna. I I there's this thing. I have to take this show for uh, one. I'm talking specifically about the. Uh, lesbian storyline, le the LGBT storyline, uh, queer storyline, whatever you want to say it, uh, on this show. This is previous what happened to Lexa. There's a there's a whole thing, and I don't know if you guys have watched the hundred and what happened on the hundred with Lexa's character and everything that 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 changed after what happened to her. There is a if you have to point a, 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 an event that made things change for in my opinion is Lex's death. Lex's death and a lot of deaths that came uh, in the same amount of time right before that happened with Lexa and after what happened to Lexa. Uh, in a short span of time, a lot of lesbian characters, bisexual ladies, and 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 LGBT characters uh, started to get killed off. Um, and this is, if I'm not wrong, this is prior to 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 Lexa or something. But the thing is that I want to say is that even though I like the lesbian relationship. I, I, I am not here, even though I say that, but I, I say it just joking, you know, about it. Um, I have watched The Vampire Diaries uh, for seven seasons now. I love The Vampire Diaries for what it is, for what it represents, for the amazing world they created, for the amazing, crazy storylines and the love story and Daylena and all of that that is the main reason the brothers Bonnie who I love like those are the main reasons why I watch the Vampire Diaries why I continue watching uh the Vampire Diaries and this you know thing that it does make me happy I do like it that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be able to criticize the things that I don't necessarily like. And why did I bring up the Lexa thing and all that? It's just that I feel like after that, writers are trying a lot harder 
to write good relationships. Not all of them. Not all the all the shows have good relationships. Uh, 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 they we still struggle with that. I mean, we have one of the more clear examples is Alex on Supergirl that had a really stupid storyline at the end. Like the coming out was perfect, but then what happened with Maggie? It was just dumb, and you know it ended for a reason. And people are not happy. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is, you know. But the thing is that. In mo like a lot of shows tend to have really like develop a lot more, go away from these stereotypes and go into more complex characters who are not solely lesbian stereotypes. And Mary Louise, it's very, it's a very clear stereotypes stereotype. Why do I say that? The whole clingy thing is very. It was done over and over again about the the lesbian always, you know, trying to suffocate the other person and like, the, you know what I mean? That part didn't really like, I really didn't like it that, but it's not like, oh my God, it's ruined for me. No, it's not. Uh, but it, it was very sweet. Also, we have to understand that these two girls come from a different era, you know, from different time when it wasn't allowed to be... Uh, uh, the, to be a lesbian, to have to be openly gay, it wasn't a deal, you know. So the change from going, you will th you will say, oh, but now you can walk around like wave the flag and shit like that. But when you're not used to things like that, when you are, you know, forced to be in the closet and all of that, it is still a coming out process. And I feel like that is what is happening a little bit with Mary Louise, which she doesn't let herself go because she is scared. Let's be honest, this world, of course, they are heretics and they're witches and vampires. They could kill anyone who stands on their way. But the thing is, the psychological part of it is still is a scare of doing all of that. Even on the first episode when we saw them holding hands and Mary Lee's just like got scared. It, is, it comes with the fact that they just recently come out to this world to be out. You know what I mean? So it's hard. For Mary Louise, and I understand that she said she has a different personality than Nora. And Nora, you know, she is more trying to, you know, make up for loose time, trying to learn about pin rest and like having fun conversations. I honestly don't think that she's trying to cheat on her, but it kind of you see her like that. And Mary Louise, like she was drinking the blood and she was like, Oh my god, you're cheating on me! And like it wasn't and that little cliche thing, stereotype of lesbian, I didn't like. Uh, but in overall, you know. You know, it's a it's a fun story. I hope they really take it well. I don't know. I honestly, everything that happened before Alexa, this show specifically, I am not really like holding my hopes on. Cause I don't know if they're gonna survive this season. And if you add that to the fact that pretty much not all the villains on the show get to survive. Here on the Vampire Diaries, that has has to tell you a lot. Like, for instance, I'm still sad that Silas and Katsia, Tessa, right? That was her name. That they are gone. I thought I thought that th those were the best villains the show had. Uh, well, aside from the originals, but we have the original show, so it's okay. Uh, but they were so much fun, and they got killed off, in my opinion, a lot sooner. Uh, too soon, and I will have enjoyed a lot more of their story, you know. Uh, but I understand why it happened. I understand. Don't worry about it. Uh, but they don't have a really good record with like keeping the villains alive. So I'm pretty sure they are going to eventually kill them off. All the heretics. So the heretics. So I'm not really holding hopes for that. So I'm taking it like I'm gonna be cautious with it. But anyways, I really liked it. I really liked how at the end of the day she was like, you know, understanding her mistakes and all of that. And like, you know, she's 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 she wasn't ready to be happy. And like, it was it was really cute. It was really cute. Now, I don't I this is not me saying that I don't like uh, Stereo Line. I love a Stereo Line. They are lovely cute together, they finally slept together, they're really amazing, okay, but the thing is, I don't ship them as hard as I ship Daylena, 
And that is, I don't think, a secret to anyone. And I like how they are. I like how good they are together. I feel like, you know, there's a lot there. And they're like, Stefan really cares about her. And I understand why she is so concerned about this. But she cannot live her life with Stefan. Thinking about all the past lovers that he had. Because Stefan always will hold a special, hold a special place in his heart for the people that he has loved before. For Lena, Valerie, Catherine, everyone who gives the boy has going around. You know, he's been alive for 160, 150 years. So it's a lot of time. And Caroline can let the ghost of his previous relationships to shine a light or to, you know, destroy his her current relationship with Stefan. If we're gonna, if we can say anything about Stefan, is that he's loyal, okay? He's good. He's loyal to the person that he falls in love with, okay? And he will do and will go to the end of the earth for that person. And I do believe Caroline is that for him right now. So I understand that Caroline is, you know, is a, a, a she is a control freak and she, you know, has these obsessions and like she is really, really, you know. OCD sometimes and she cannot let go of things. I understand that. But it, this is the second, third episode. Because the first time, you know, when they were actually going to get together, she was, you know, yeah, but you loved Elena. You never looked at me. And then now it's Valerie. Like, I understand her insecurities. But if she wants to enjoy his her relationship with him, she has to let go of that. You know, uh, because yes, he's not going to try to deny that he loved Elena, that he loved, uh, what's her name, Valerie, and all the previous ones that he has loved. He's not going to deny it, which is nothing wrong with, den with not doing that. But she can also keep mentioning and, and, and like try to, you know, say that those are the reasons we can be together because you're not as crazy about me as you were for these other two girls. It's not fair, you know? It's not fair for, for Stefan because he is serious about his love for Caroline, you know? Uh, but in terms of the ship, I like them together. They put a smile on my face, but I sadly, I don't go bananas over it. Like, it's sad, though, but I, can, I can't fake it that I like it. I'm happy, but I'm not like, oh, my God. It's not like Mary, Louise, and, and Nora or... Daylena, who you had, you guys have heard me scream every time they look at each other. It's just, it is what it is. The, the ships choose you. You don't choose your the ships. It happens, okay? Um, but yeah, in terms of the storyline, Joe is back from, we, we see the th three years from now thing, which I have to be honest, is driving me nuts. Nuts! It's driving me insane because... I don't, I, I want to know what's happening now. We see, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Rick, with his two little girls. One with blonde hair, the other one with dark hair. And I, you see them, you know, and he's happy. But if it's three years from now, those kids don't look like two year old. Or two, it doesn't look like that. Because Joe was pregnant and she has to be pregnant and continue with her pregnancy for eight, seven mo more months, then give birth, you know, and the babies will be around two, two and a half years. Those babies didn't look like two and a half or two years old. They look like three, four years, three years. Okay, three and a half, three or something like that. But they didn't look like two year olds. Let's be honest. Yeah, they didn't look like two year olds. Um... So bad casting there because if it's three years from now, the babies, even if they got resurrected, I don't think she's going to give birth to the babies right now, you know. But we'll see, I guess. We will see because anything can happen in Mystic Falls, we know that. So, yeah. Um, but they got Joe back. But there's something wrong going on there. I feel like there will be more and possibly she will not make it and only the babies will make it. But Joe, I don't think it's complete. Like, I understand Rick. If I was in his position and I have come back from the dead, I will be like, yes, I want to try. But, you know, she was at peace. 
I feel like she was at peace. So bringing her back is just like, I don't think I could do that. I honestly don't think I could do that. Uh, because what will happen? How traumatized will she be? Also, Oscar didn't, like, we got Oscar. And Oscar didn't remember anything. He didn't remember being at the beach. He didn't remember a lot of things. He was panicking, being in the car and things like that. And, like, how far did he, his mind went? And he's back to being uh, a crazy ripper as well. And and that, I think, happened prior to him going into the prison world. So, you know, it's kind of crazy uh, that that is happening, but it gets, to, it gets to tell you what truly is going to happen with Joe as well. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, they, they made the arrangement, and there is things that I don't understand that, or I don't think that were necessary, in this episode, because they talked about how, who he is without Elena. And Elena is gone, and he's still a good person. Like, goodish person, Damon. Um, but I understand that the need to do this was for us to, you know, get the coffin out. Because if the coffin is still there, you will always automatically think, by default, that someone's going to use it as leverage. You know, um, so they have to get rid of... I feel like the writers needed to get rid of the coffin with Elena inside. I think they had to get rid of that. And that is the reason why... Um, why... Why they did that, the, the whole, oh, I am a better, I don't know who I am, I need to find out who I am, who I am without you, and things like that. So I was like... Oh, okay, it felt repetitive. It didn't feel needed. I think that it was just a, a way to get the coffin away from Mystic Falls. So we don't have to be worrying about the coffin all the time. Now, Tyler is the one who came back. And I just don't like that. But since we have seen the uh, flash forward, we know that he is probably the one who is engaged to Caroline. Why in the world is that? I don't know. But yeah, anyways, also Matt... Matt is really irritating. It, it, it's it irritating me. It's He's annoying as hell. Like, seriously. Because he is, like, trying to get himself killed. And, and he's like, oh, I don't need vampires to save my life. I don't need vampires. Vampires are the only reason he's still alive. Let's be real. Okay, a little bit of appreciation will be will be fine. You know what I mean. So it's just I don't I I just find him the most annoying and less interesting character in this world. And like, why is he still here? I don't get it. Just to annoy me is that it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I could do I could do well without him. I'm just saying that. Then Bonnie, who is like, let's be real, let's be real, B Bonnie. Bennett is the fucking MVP on this show. Like, she is the best. Because she is the one who's always putting her life aside to try to help the ones that she love and care. Now she brings back two people. Well, a vampire hunt, a vampire heretic tick back and a witch back from the dead. With a stone and with some spells. It didn't seem like it drained her that much of energy. It, I think the energy comes from the, the the stone, but still, you know, she she brought she bring him back. So that's pretty cool. She's she's amazing. Bonnie is amazing, and her the fact that Damon was like really protective over her. I am loving the fact that he's that protective over Bonnie. Like you can truly see that when he does care about someone, he is a very good person. But, you know, you, you cannot, like, go against him and, like, make him like everyone. But, hey, he wants to stay in the town, so there is no, like, there's no more killings. There is no more um, uh, crazy things that heretics will do to innocent people. He also don't want to have in his conscience that he didn't try to save Matt because he knows how much Matt means to Elena. So, yeah, he's amazing, okay? Um, but, yeah... Also, the last thing I'm going to talk about, 
what is it? What's what's up with uh, Enzo? Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the Raiders don't know what to do. Now, the first time that we saw him interact with Lily, it was more like a motherly, you know, motherly son kind of thing between them. But now we know that he's in love with her. And now he, he wants to make Julian disappear, even though Julian is not coming to Mystic Fall yet. He wants to make him dis disappear because he wants to be with her, with Lily. And Lily thinks that Julian is an angel. Are you, this is not way, no, no, herb. What the hell? Did he, what the hell? Like, seriously, how, how blind can you be? Anyways. Hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video. Hope you guys continue enjoying my reaction videos. I will try my best to deliver as much as I can because I do want to finish season 7 here on Netflix before the month end. So yeah, we're on October 2nd. Uh, I don't know when you guys are going to watch this on YouTube, but I'm going to try my best to do a lot of reaction videos for season seven. So yeah, that's it. Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below. If you're watching the full uncut reaction video on Patreon, don't forget to give it a heart, subscribe, comment, and all those good things. And oh, comment. In Patreon, you can only comment and continue supporting. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the Vampire Diaries. Mwah. Bye, guys.